Hey guys, Spiritual Whistleblower here. Uh, hot, sweaty in New York City. I just got through doing my morning cardio um, routine. So I'm slowing down. Get this video out the way on my way home. Beautiful day in New York, but it's muggy and hot. What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. Um, before I get into the topic of this video, real quickly, I am holding my next Narcissistic Abuse Meetup support group. Um, I will be signing autographed books. Um, autographing your books, I meant, sorry. <laughs> um, so this month of July, next week, Saturday, Sunday, I will be in Waterbury, Connecticut, Boston, Massachusetts. And then the last weekend of July, the 30th, 31st, I'll be in Philly and Washington, D.C. If you would like to attend any of these support group meetups and come out and meet me, we're going to play my card game, too. I have a brand new card game called Are You a Narcissist? I will debut this game at all the support groups. If you want to play and participate, email me to RSVP. Uh, the seating is limited due to COVID guidelines, so you want to make sure you get your ticket ASAP. Hit me up at chanelljasmine at gmail.com. I'll pin my email down below. Thank you. Uh, also, the month of August. All next month, I will be on the West Coast doing support group meetups, signing autographs and all of that. I will be in L.A. on the 7th, um, Seattle, I think the 8th or 9th. I got to check again. Uh, I'll be in Phoenix, Arizona, Las Vegas, and I'm squeezing in. Yes, I will be in Sacramento, West Coast, the whole month of August. Get at me if y'all want y'all seats. Email me right now. Good, we got that out the way. And I am available for phone coaching. I'm super affordable, and I have availability all this week. Anyone needs coaching, if you're dealing with a narcissist, family, friend, foe, I don't give a fuck who it is, I will coach you through it. Bet. Let's get on with the topic of this video. Let me walk through the park. Who is it's muggy in New York City today. Okay, y'all, so, you know, I bust down narcissistic abuse on a level that everyone understands it. I try to keep it on a street level. I balance it out. There's millions of videos on this stuff, and, you know, the doctors and other life coaches, you know, they, 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 they talk on a surface level, or the doctors get real clinical, you know, and it's good to know the clinical terms, and, you know, but them videos get long and boring to me. You know, I, I, I like to get to a realistic level. That's why I curse and I keep it all the way to fuck real. And I speak from experience because I've been abused by every fucking body in my life. And I'm thankful for it because I'm able to turn my pain into purpose to help other people. So I, I don't regret none of the abuse because that abuse has allowed me to teach and help other people get free from it. So um, this video, I want to talk about how the narcissist wants to control God's favor upon your life. <laughs> See, I'm one of the very few that talks about the spiritual aspect of narcissistic abuse. Okay. I'm tired of playing with these demons. We got to get out here and teach people this shit. These doctors want to call it a personality disorder. I call bullshit on that. MPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, is a clinical terminology created by a group of fucking psychiatrists all over the world. Oh, no, wait a minute. I think Dr. Sam Backton, um, that's, his, that's his thing. If y'all don't know who Dr. Sam Backton is, look him up. Nonetheless, it's just a label for demonic fucking behavior. It's not a mental illness because anyone with this disorder strategically, very calculated, abuses their victims. Mentally ill people don't go around targeting and, and abusing people on purpose. So that's why this is not a mental illness. I don't even want to call it a personality disorder. I'm sick of it because this is, there's nothing clinical about this fucking behavior. They try to justify it in, in medical terminology, psycho, psychological term, terminology, and I call bullshit. Narcissists, their purpose uh, on this earth is to target God's children, come into your life to kill, steal, destroy, break you down, control you. Who programmed them to do this? Who put them on assignment to target good people? I'll motherfucking tell you who. The devil, Satan himself, put these motherfuckers on assignment. 
So uh, let me stop here. Let's not call this a personality disorder. Let's call this spiritual assassination. Anyone that they target, they are out to break your spirit in half. Do you hear me? And if you've been through this type of abuse, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. They will leave you broken in pieces. How many times has, you, has your narcissistic mommy or daddy broken you into pieces and hurt you? Tried to make you jealous of your other siblings, hated on you. They, they, they tried to take control of your money. How many of your toxic narcissistic family members hated on you, gossiped about you like a fucking dog in the streets, didn't support your business endeavors or anything else positive you got going on? How many of y'all got narcissistic baby daddies, baby mamas, and you know they don't fucking care about the child, they just wanna keep abusing you and spying on your life, seeing who you dating, who you dealing with? They don't give a fuck about the child, <laughs> but they wanna ruin your fucking life. How many of y'all are trying to get, you know, a divorce from a narcissist and they're making it hell? They out in the streets telling everybody they can't wait to fucking divorce you. They smearing you, trying to make you look fucking crazy. But people don't know behind closed doors, this motherfucker is not going to divorce you because a narcissist is fearful of a divorce. A divorce means loss of control over his victim, you. So y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, many times in my videos, I, I discuss how the narcissist, they, they all want to come back. When you escape or you're attempting to break free, they will obsessively stalk you because they want to maintain that control of your life. Even if their industry is talking bad about you, they do not want to lose. Y'all are a piece of property. Do you understand? I don't care who the narc is in your life. They view you as a piece of property forever. Hmm. But, um, you know, what, what I also want to point out that we all know their pathological envy. They're super jealous, envious people, deeply insecure. And you could be flat motherfucking broke. I've had this happen. A bitch, a bitch that was a millionaire, married to a millionaire, super wealthy. Here, are my broke ass, she was jealous of me. I'm like, what the fuck is she jealous of? I don't have nothing. Then it took me a long time to figure out it was my spirit. It was my anointing. It was the favor that God had placed on my life. That's why she was jealous of me. And that's what I'm trying to communicate to you all. Yeah, the narcissist, when you escape, they want to regain that control and they'll obsessively stalk you. They'll send their friends and family to stalk you and monitor you. Everyone's working together to gang stalk and keep you caught up in the, in the web because they don't want you to escape. But, you know, the control factor, it's not just about them controlling your finances, controlling your life, your car, your status. They want control of the material things and all of that, the surface level shit. But I'm about to take it to another level on y'all. They want control of the favor, God's favor over your life. Did you ever think about that? No, because y'all too busy watching YouTube videos on all the other surface level shit because nobody's going deep into the spiritual aspect of narcissistic abuse. But that's where they got me fucked up because I'm coming for these demons. This, this year, I got my motherfucking foot on their neck. I'm going to talk about the spiritual shit. They want control of the favor, the anointing. They want that favor that God has placed over your life. They don't understand how, you, how are you so blessed even when you have nothing, flat broke. You be living in a homeless shelter, them motherfuckers are still motherfucking be jealous of you. How do I know I've had it all happen to me? I've been homeless in New York City and had a bitch still hating on me. How do you hate on somebody that God has placed favor? How are you gonna be mad at me? Cause God, God gave me favor. I know favor ain't fair. But they be big, man. That's what they really want control over because they, they don't have favor. Can I talk to y'all for a minute? They was not blessed with that favor. 
if they would just do the introspective work, self-reflective work and get their, themselves together, look in the mirror and get themselves together. And if they would turn to God and build a personal relationship with God, they too could have favor. No, but what they rather fucking do is sit up and envy you and study you and watch you. They don't know everything you've gone through to get everything that you've got, you're, you're, you're blessed with. None of this shit was given to me. This gift, this platform I had, I never knew I had any of this. I had to fail many times and go through many trials and tribulations to understand my gift and my calling and my power that was bestowed upon me. And I had to come to understand it and get close to God to know this is favor over my life. And now that I have tapped in to this gift and I know what the fuck my purpose and calling is and I'm out here hustling and helping people break free so they can understand their calling, yeah, bitches is mad at me. Many bitches that kicked me in my teeth. And when I say bitches, I'm talking about the dog ass men in my life too. Because men are bitches too. Male and female, family or not family, bitches. All them that kicked me down. And when I was down, they stomped me, pissed on me, talked about me, lied on me, dragged my name through the mud and I still came out on motherfucking top. How? How? They're just looking at me like, how does this bitch do it? What is it about her that so many people love? Why does she have an international follow, following of people from all over the world that watch her YouTube channel and, and, and look at the people in the comments, how they praise her and they love her? And what is it about her? Bitch, it's fucking favor. It's motherfucking favor. And every last narcissist that I didn't cut off out of my life, they are obsessed with trying to get that control because they want the favor that God has placed on my life. They cannot have it. So I'm saying this to you. Think about it. We up here thinking a narcissist wants control of our finances, our money, the, the material shit. And they do. They do. They got to attach their name to everything. Our names, our image, our status, all that, the material shit. That's true. But dig deeper. Dig deeper and go into the spiritual realm. They hate that favor. They hate that God keep blessing you as many times, as many attempts they didn't try to kick you down and tear your name down and, and do all type of horrible shit to you and you still bounce back. Every time you bounce back harder and harder, they're sitting up fucking mad. How does this bitch fucking do it? It is the favor of God on my life. Something that the narcissist can never take away from you no matter how hard they try. They so motherfucking focus on stealing your favor and controlling you and breaking you down, not just on a physical plane, but they want to break your spirit in the spiritual realm. But they don't understand that God is the only one that has the power to, to rebuild you up. So they become frustrated and they want that same power and control that God has. And they, they, they end up fucking up, sabotaging their fucking selves when they understand that they, they'll never possess the same power that God has. They, they can't take that favor away from you. And this is how we know they're demons and they're fake Christians because they're detached from God. Because if they were connected to God, they would seek him out and they would get their own favor instead of being obsessed with taking your fucking favor away. Woo, I might do a part two on this video. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. The narcissist wants control of the favor that God has bestowed upon you. Let that marinate. I think I'm going to do a part two. I'll be back, y'all. I love y'all. Spiritual whistleblower.